I forgot your wallet. Don't worry, I'm not a stalker or anything, but you left this on the bus. I knocked. Come in, please. I'm Eddie. Hello, Eddie. How did you find me? My license is in Paris. Uh, yeah, delivery, there's a receipt from the dry cleaners. I thought I'd come to this address. If you didn't live here, then somebody might know where I could find you. That's very smart. You're very smart. Wow, it's just a lucky day. You think so? So far, so good. Then go for receipts. If it wasn't for that receipt, I would be without my wallet. We would never have met. True. You know, I was hoping that maybe we could keep in touch from now on by phone. Are you asking for my phone number? Well, the truth is, I was going to talk to you on the bus, but this old lady was giving me kind of a hard time. Now you have no excuse. What happened? Oh, I got knocked out by these guys who kidnapped this woman. Well, you should lie down. I can't. I gotta go to work. I just came back to change my shirt and my clothes. What woman? I don't know. I just met her. Well, where'd you meet her? I met her on a bus. What were you doing on the bus? It was the subway. It was on strike. What were you doing on the subway in the first place? Because I lost the key to Pippin's car that I borrowed last night. I know. How do you know? Because I hit them. You what? Well, I'm leaving for Italy tomorrow, and I thought it would be funny to leave with you hunting around looking for them, so I hit them. But I was going to tell you later this week. Well, why don't you do something really funny? You know, like maybe push a handicapped kid down a stairwell with his wheelchair? You started this. I did not. You pretended to be a doctor and called my work and left a message saying that I was positive for a venereal disease. Yes, you did. You started it. <sighs> yeah, I guess I did. So how are you? coping with that. I am late for work. Goodbye. Sending to travel. I sent to travel? I'd like to cancel a reservation. Heading! Heading! What you got? The flat was rented by the month. She's using an alias, Dominique Corsi. She's been here just under a year. OK. There's a forwarding address in Paris, but its phones are disconnected. It's probably fake. She paid cash on the nail plus deposits. What about the landlord's report? Superintendent Johnson has it, sir. Oh, great. Oh, great. 
Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Are you certain this woman you met was Dominique Duchenon? Yes. How are you so certain? What's our driver's license or credit cards? Oh, Dominique Duchamp is dead. Well, that's what we were led to believe until you met her. Have you heard of a French crime lord called Anton Levy? No. Yes, I have. He's been running things in France for the last ten years. Isn't he finally going to prison? He will be next week, on one condition. He gets to go to prison on a condition? Yeah, you don't know this guy. That he be allowed to leave France and come to London before his scheduled surrender and incarceration. That's politics. This guy knows how to play the game. He owns the board, the pieces, and the game. Anton Levy met Dominique Deschamps at one of his clubs. She was a waitress. They had intimate relations. She testified when the police were compiling evidence against him. She went missing soon afterwards. If it was Dominique Deschamps that you saw, and she isn't dead, she soon will be. Ah, uh, sir. Anton Levy arrived in London yesterday. I think you've stumbled on the reason he came. Find him, find her. Oh, and detective, exercise extreme caution. Excuse me, detective. Here you are, sir. Thanks. Who's that guy? Look. That guy. He's been there over an hour. Watch out! We're off to a great start. Anton Levy. He doesn't care if you're holding a badge. He doesn't care if you're an elected official. I don't think he cares if you're a blood relative. He just he goes through people. He doesn't go around people. Okay, okay. You know? I tell you, if it wasn't for the fact that there was a woman's life at stake, if it were anything else, I just... I wouldn't want to find him. Well, a woman's life is at stake. Yeah. Are you in? <laughs> look, you look like Steve McQueen when you said that. I didn't ask if you were gay, I asked if you were in. I am. You're a brave man. I encourage you to follow your path, and congratulations. Today is a very big day for you. You can do it, pal. Are you wired? No, Frank. Now, did you drive this guy back from Heathrow yesterday or not? Sorry, gents can't answer that. Client driver privilege. Yeah, Frank, that, that's lawyers and doctors. Hmm? There's no such thing as client driver privilege. Oh. Are you wired? Why do you keep asking me that? If you are wired, you've got to tell me if I ask you. That's the law, and I know the law. Yeah, no, Frank, that, that's not the law. It's not? No. Are you wearing a wire? No. no. OK, I might have driven the person you're after to a certain location you're after. I can uh, remember if you, you pay me this. You want to go to jail, Frank, for shaking down a police officer? What are you doing? It's OK, OK? It's all going to come back to us someday. Yes, I drove him. Where? You'd have to check the driver's logbook for that. But well, where's the driver's logbook? I can remember if... Uh, Pay me this. Okay, now wait a minute. This is it. You're either with the bad guys and you keep protecting him, or you're with the good guys and you level with us right now. So what's it gonna be, Frank? <sighs> Got you. Who do you see? Opulence. Wealth. Who said crime doesn't pay? You ready? Hello there. Hello. I have something for you. A message from Anton. Hmm. How do you know you were coming? You think this is funny? <laughs> yeah, no, this isn't funny. This is funny. Take a look over here. Funny, isn't it? You want a real laugh? Look over here. Now that girl had better be okay in there. 
What do you say we go inside and take a look? Can you say go? Huh? Can you say go? Go. Isabelle, Isabelle, viens ici. She's my daughter. Here she is, sir. Are you okay? I'm fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Listen, take her back to Scotland Yard. Don't let her out of your sight until I get there. I don't want to go anywhere. Dominique, it's okay. I know it doesn't seem that way right now. You're probably a little bit scared, but trust me on this one. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm here because I want to be. May I go to my room now? Tu vois, papa? Pas maintenant, ma puce. J'ai à parler avec mon ami. Come on, my friend. I insist. Stick around. Have a drink. No, I insist. Okay. I accept. Accept what? You tell me. Tell you what? What will you have to drink? I'm on duty. I have to settle for conversation. I'm going to ask you a question. All right. Think about the answer. You ready? Sure. What is wrong? Is that the question? What is wrong? Yes. What is wrong? A lot of things. You threatening innocent women, for starters. No. That's the wrong answer, my friend. The right answer is nothing. Nothing is wrong. Everything is right. Everything is exactly the way it is supposed to be at all times. You are here. I'm here. Everyone in the world is where they should be. life is here ready it's written here the meeting of my parents my birth my daughter's birth here my poor wife's death from illness assassins tried to kill me here Henri helps me interpret the movements of the stars they are my past my present and my future you see it says I will go to jail soon I will suffer very hard times. It is my path, but the greatest love of my life, the one who means more to me than life itself, she will be there waiting for me when I get out of prison. Wasn't she the one that helped put you there in the first place? Yes, but she only did what I told her to do, tell the truth. Understandably, she was scared, she ran. I want peace now. She will bring me peace, and that at last will bring true meaning to my life. You see the moon rising already? That is a symbol for a stranger arriving from abroad to aid me. That is you, Eddie. You are that stranger. You are going to deliver her to me. 
Everything is already planned for us, Eddie. Everything. Even the things you leave up to chance, to uh, happenstance, the uh, conscious decision to take a shortcut, the uh, innocent flip of a coin, these things are in the stars already. When you accept this notion, when you accept that there is an immovable force guiding you, once you accept that, there is only one answer to the question of what is wrong. I think I do, but listen to me. How am I gonna deliver her to you when she's already here? You heard her yourself, she doesn't wanna go anywhere. Eddie, it's just begun. What's he doing here? What should we do? Call Jack. I want him in the house by tomorrow. Is it so bad here? Ah, dude. This is... Remarkable. What is it? Ah, look on horoscopes. I'm gonna read this to you. Listen to this. Does it have anything on how to save a woman who suddenly doesn't want to be saved? Check it out. Check this out. It says here, dude, it is your destiny, it's your destiny, to meet your soulmate on a bus, a red bus. See, right here. Yeah, well, the bus wasn't red. Yeah, well, whatever, you know, it's accurate enough, don't you think? No. It is. It's creepy. You saw, you saw Dominique on a bus, yeah? Okay, so they said it was a red bus instead of a gold bus, but whatever. Well, Dominique the shop isn't in love with me. Right? Uh, yeah. See, according to this, she is, but she just doesn't know it yet. All right, you're starting to sound like Anton again. Dude, there is something to what he says. This stuff works, you know? I'm gonna get home tonight, I'm gonna arrange to have my charts done straight away. It's bloody fantastic. Listen, right, it says here, you're gonna pay more attention to fashion this coming year. Now, I was thinking, no, I was thinking this morning, how ridiculous your trousers are, how I was going to have to introduce you to my tailor. Do you realize that these subtle criticisms of yours are slowly eroding my self-esteem? Dude, it's all here. It's all here in black and white. You know, she asked me for help. I could see it in her eyes. Now, what would make her so scared that we show up with 35 armed men and she doesn't leave with us? Because you're underestimating your opponent. Well, he's not Satan. the guy that was outside her apartment. You got a back exit just over there, sir? So far. So who are you? Michel. Michel who? Michel Hoffman. He was a boyfriend of Dominique Deschamps. Oh, hello, Carol. Inspector. Miss Money Penny. Detective. What are you looking for? A really good spanking. Thank you, Carol. Were you in hiding with her in London, Michel? Yes. I went back to Paris. My father was sick, and when I was there, they found me. You mean Anton? They wanted to know if I knew where Dominique was. Did you tell him? Mais non. I escaped with my life. I've been in hiding ever since. I'm sure they told her that I was going to be killed if she didn't do what they asked her. That's why she's there with him. If she knew that I was here out of danger, she wouldn't want to stay. Once she knows I'm here, she will leave. You realize if you make contact with Anton Levy, we can't guarantee your safety here, Michel. 
have nothing to lose. Cancelled my trip. How'd you find out? You left the itinerary on the kitchen table, so I knew you were up to something, and I called them, and they told me I was cancelled. You should be a detective. Yes. Well, thank you. Did you book it again? No. No, I didn't, because it was full, and somebody else took my spot. Oh, I'm sorry. But you did deserve it. You know, it's okay. I made myself feel better. I actually feel great now. You know, I needed something to do to take my mind off the anger, so I made you that soup. What's in the soup? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would, so I can seek the proper medical attention. <laughs> Thank you for cancelling that trip, Eddie, because since I'm not going to be in Italy for the spa week, I have got myself a huge, huge, huge modelling contract. And had I been on that plane, I would never have got the call. And that is what I call a good old-fashioned backfire. So there's nothing in the soup? Oh, there's something in the soup. Okay, what is in the soup, Fiona? Love. I mean, because love because I'm happy about the... The, the contract? Mm. Yeah. Sure. Very good. Good night. Good night. Hello. Tell him I'm here. Jacques is in the house. Welcome to London. Do you have a name for me? I need to know the name. Got it. Are you guys stay here? I'll be right back. Everything's gonna be all right. Dominique, are you in that place again? I need you. Remember that. You're confused right now. There are choices, people you are worried about. It is a mistake to worry about them. We belong together. That's not true. It is. I'm a different person because of you. With you, I have learned mercy. I forgive you for testifying against me. With you, I have learned to accept my punishment for the things I've done in the past. Accept condemnation for the choices I have made. I want you back. I may have shown you some of these things, Anton. But what we had was in the past. I love Michelle. Now I've seen the future. On your board. I can't give you peace of spirit. I can't give you these things, Anton. I can't make your demons go away. I can't give you these things because I don't love you. I don't need you the way you think you need me. There is someone else to give you these things. There is no one else for me. By accepting this invitation to have dinner with me the night before I go to prison, you accept me. You accept your destiny and your place beside me. So you're doing some driving for Anton still? Yes, uh, exactly. Still doing some driving. You didn't tell anyone that I, uh, I showed you this place, did you? You know, Frank, honestly, I'm not certain. But if you pay me this, I can remember. for 
aujourd'hui Oui. Thanks. Are you here for Papa? Important business. Important business. Yes. Can you tell him I love him? I will. Come on. Hello, my friend. What is it you say? Um... What do you know? Well, I know you don't have Michelle Hoffman, Dominique's boyfriend. I never said I did. No, not to me, but to her you did. Yeah? Yeah, and he's here, in London. And I'm here to tell you that the only thing I'm going to deliver to you is bad news. I'm going to tell Dominique that he's OK. Sounds as though you're working for him. Well, no. But if she wants me to, I'm going to take her out of here. Ooh, wow, heavy. <laughs> oh, so cool, the way you talk. I love the way you lay things out. It's so American, with a capital A. I'm going to take her out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. So, so cool. Yeah, it's like I'm um, watching an action movie. <laughs> Better even, it's like I'm in an action movie, eh? It's like an action movie, eh? <laughs> like he's the hero. <laughs> like you're a hero, huh? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. If you're the hero, well, that means I'm the bad guy. The bad guy always dies at the end of the movie, my friend. No. Come on. We're in my house. Do I really have to be the bad guy? Really? Do I really have to be the bad guy? It's up to you. I'm not the bad guy. He is. Everyone, stay calm! Michelle, you out of your mind? Where is she? Michelle, put the gun down. Where tell? Michelle, please. No. Dominique, et toi derrière moi. That's only gonna make things go from bad to worse, Michelle. Just put the gun down. If you pull the trigger, it will jam. If it doesn't jam, I will pull through somehow in hospital. It's not my destiny to die tonight. Is it yours? Michelle, please. Please let go. Michelle, please don't. Do what she says, Michelle. Just walk away. Want a drink? Me? I need a drink. I need a drink. Asante. So is this what's supposed to happen, Anton? What do you want, Eddie? Answers? I know the outcome. Not how we get there. You want answers? I don't have them. I want to save a life. Maybe two. Good. Deliver this. Deliver her. You have little time. I can't do it. And I don't care what your fate is. You're bound by duty, Eddie. It is your job to make sure that people are alive and safe. Are you threatening them? She made her choice. And you were keeping her against her will. You know what's wrong, Eddie? Nothing. Remember? There's nothing wrong, ever. According to the chart, you'll figure out what to do. Now we'll see how bad you want to keep people alive. What? Michelle is gone. Yeah, thanks, Sherlock. Nice work on the car. 
Oh, you think that's funny? Did anybody get hurt? No, thank God. Then it's funny. Well, I happen to find litigation funny. Litigation? Yeah, I'm suing you. You're suing me? For damages. Should make you feel right at home, America being such a litigious society. What have I got to do that, if anything, you should sue the makeup company who made that compact that you were looking at whenever you hit whatever it was you hit? Something hit me, OK? A garbage truck hit me, my car, when I was doing my modelling shoot. So sue them. It was my fault. I was in a parking restricted area. I am responsible. Well, then you're going to have to sue yourself, and you better get a good lawyer, because let me tell you, you're going up against the real... Don't you dare! This is entirely your fault. If I had been in Italy at the spa week, the trip that you cancelled, this would never, ever have happened. I am suing you for damages. So how much is this going to cost, Ms. Hide the Keys? About 20 quid less than I made at the shoot today. Great. Then you can pay for my dinner tonight. We're even no harm done. Remember, the only reason you got that modeling trip is because I canceled your trip in the first place. Eddie giveth, Eddie taketh away. Wait. It's yours. Go ahead. Do not eat anything in the flat ever again if you know what's good for you. All right. Dude, you better get down here, yeah? OK. Where is Dominique Deschamps? I don't know. I don't know, sir. Michel Hoffman? We have people on the streets looking for him. They're together. You have people on the streets looking for them. They are together. Have you checked the morgue? Because I've just received a fax from Monsieur Delouche, head of French police. They have intelligence information that Jacques Demaray, Anton Levy's hitman, has arrived in London. to my flat. Now, tomorrow, you come back here and my brother, Marcel, will come, pick you up and drive you to Paris. Please, feed the fish. Hello. I'll make coffee. Michelle. Hi there. I'm not going back. I'm sorry if I got you into this, but I'm not going back. Well, you need to reconsider. If you don't go back and let me try to work this out, he's going to hunt you down. You might be able to elude one of his hitmen, but somebody's going to replace him. And well, at least if you go with me, we can talk some Even kind of... if you say different. I know the minute I walk back in there, Michelle is dead. No matter what he says to me, to you, to himself, do you actually think differently? Michelle is dead if you don't go. If we can find you, they can find you. They're probably tracking you already. Anton thinks I will deliver him salvation. So sure of it, he will wreck the lives of anyone he has to. I want you to give him a message from me, his savior. If he touches Michelle, I'll kill myself. I'd rather be dead than be without Michelle. And if I were you, I would worry about yourself. Because when you deliver a message to him, it could be your last. And one thing I do know for sure, you don't know Anton Levy. It's just begun. When you saw them last at this nightclub owner's flat, did they say where they were going? No. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. I've already informed the French police to prepare for the worst. As per your request to go in to see Anton Levy alone, request denied. Listen, Nathaniel, I'm in control of the situation. A few days ago, I would have believed you. As of right now, I'm not so sure. With Jack Demaray, the hitman in town, and then disappearing into thin air, there's no telling which way this will go. So control is not the first word that springs to mind. It's OK to throw a flag on this one. It's OK to ask for help. Let me make myself clear. The things that I'm truly afraid of, I can count on two fingers. Anton Levy is one of them. When are you supposed to deliver her? In an hour. 
Get me Simmons a tactical. It's not gonna make a difference with this guy. We both know the score on that. It's my job to protect you. So don't do what they're doing. Don't put me in a position where you won't let anyone help you. I'm not ready to prepare for the worst as far as you're concerned. It's me. Sorry. Get me Simmons. We are open in a few hours, so you can wait here in my safe room. You'll be safe there until my brother arrives. For added security, I'm putting my friend in with you. He is a last line of defense. No one makes it past him. No one. Charts said a lot of eerie things. You said it yourself. It showed when he went to jail. It showed. Yeah, I'll tell you what it showed. It showed the exact spot where you came into his life. No, it said stranger from abroad. Yeah, you're from abroad, aren't you? Look at this book. Yeah. It is in your destiny to meet your soulmate on a red bus. That's you, her. You're saving her soul. Hence, you are soulmates. Easy. No, you're just twisting things around to make it seem like it's true. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, and everybody does it. Now, listen. Number one, the bus wasn't red, and number two. That's not what a soulmate is. Soulmates are people who are destined to be together, not save each other's souls. You're just desperate to make all this work, like one of those phony guys on TV. But listen, it's okay if you believe in it. That's just fine. But study your own fate, okay? Not mine. I thought you were going to get one of those charts made up for yourself. No, I'm not, no. Why not? Because I don't want to know my future now, do I? Look at you. What do I want to know that for? What kind of last night on earth are you going to have, knowing that he's written in the stars that most probably you are going to die tonight at the hands of a ruthless killer? I don't want to know. I'd rather you get checked out suddenly without warning, preferably during sex. Or after, yeah, after sex. Thanks. I'm sorry. I joke when I'm scared, OK? That's me. That's what I do. It's a habit. You know, I laughed all the way during my Uncle Carl's funeral. I just couldn't stop laughing. It's... I'm not very good with fear. Or courage. Or courage. I'm really worried about you. I mean, I know that I talk badly about you behind your back, and I know that I tell lies to the ladies in the office about your character, but you know, I... I like you. Whatever. I want you to promise me one thing, okay? If you get the feeling, you know the special feeling where you think that maybe it's all gonna go wrong, and maybe the worst is round the corner. I want you to get out the gun, and I want you to use it, because he doesn't care about anyone else. I got it from a friend who was in the army. There are no bullets in it. You don't carry a gun with no bullets. You may have to use it. I'm not a gangster, you know. I'm not cut out for it. Plastic in the trunk. Do you believe in fate? I think I do. Anton? So, she's in there? 
She's waiting. The stars were right, Anton. You just had the wrong girl. She will bring me peace. Isabel, what are you doing here? You, you are, are going, going to deliver her to me. C'est possible? Gun. There are bullets. Please. On your chart, my friend. Do you know what today says? Today is your lucky day. He must really love you. Nothing. 